Welcome back. It's been on a four-year mission, travelling more than 117 million miles, and now the Dawn spacecraft has reached its target, the Vesta asteroid. The first orbiting images of the asteroid from the Dawn were released at a press conference in California this evening. Our science correspondent Tom Clark has been looking at what secrets they reveal about the earliest moments of the solar system. These are the first close-up pictures of what could be the oldest object in our solar system. The scarred and pockmarked surface of four and a half billion year old asteroid Vesta. Written in these grooves and craters is a history of our solar system and this is our best look at it yet. What I think is really exciting about this is that after two centuries of observing this fuzzy little blob of light among the stars, Earth now has a robotic emissary in orbit at Vesta. I mean, we're here today to say, Earth, meet Vesta. Three, two, we have main engine start, zero and liftoff. The images were captured by NASA's Dawn mission, launched in 2007. It's traveled 117 million miles to Vesta, deep in the asteroid belt, a vast field of space rubble between Mars and Jupiter. It's of intense interest to science. The belt is most likely left over from the solar system's violent beginnings, and Dawn is the first mission to orbit an asteroid. Next year, it will head to its next objective, Ceres, 96,000 miles away. By comparing two very different lumps of space rubble, Dawn is trying to solve one of the biggest mysteries in astronomy, how the solar system we call home came to be. Vesta is a solid lump of rock made largely of iron and nickel. Its evolution is similar to Earth or Mars, and those first Vesta pictures show deep craters in its surface. Ceres, on the other hand, the same age and distance from Earth, but it's totally different. It's made of compacted ice and rock, more snowball than boulder. It's spherical like a planet, and its surface is completely smooth. And the first images of Vesta don't disappoint. It's our, uh, our only good example of that particular period of the solar system formation. And we're very, very happy, really happy uh, to be able to uh, look down at the surface and see what was going on uh, at those very early moments of the solar system. They won't be able to construct a true history of Vesta and neighboring Ceres until the mission ends in 2015. But the scientists say even the detail in these first snaps has given them enough to study for years to come.